Hey guys, I'm back. In front of me is a sample pack from Arion. This is their scented filament. I have the fruit pack. I have mango, green apple, strawberry, and orange. I've printed a bunch of Benchies with the different scented filaments. And I've had a lot of people uh, sniff them and give me their feedback as well as mine. So what we'll do is I'll discuss that with you, the Kickstarter, what's going on, and whether this stinks or not. I'm sorry. There's gonna be a lot of smell jokes. I can't help myself. Are you ready? Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, first of all, welcome to my channel where nerdy is cool. My name is Paul. I'm on to 3D printing. I'd like to do reviews on 3D printers, filaments, big in the cosplay, flight sims, the list goes on. If you have never seen my videos before, I encourage you to click the button down below and become a subscriber. I don't want you to miss any of my cool content. Okay, as I said in the opener, they sent me this pack of filament uh, at, no, uh, at no cost to me. And uh, it was an interesting little package when it arrived. Mine, as I'll show you here in the video footage, uh, was a pretty beat up looking box, but it did arrive intact. Uh, once we unpacked it and the box proceeded to disintegrate, um, it looked fine. And what I did is uh, it wasn't vacuum packed as tight as, I, as I'm used to from Arion. So it went into the filament dryer and sat in there overnight this way when I did the test prints we'd be ready to go with known dry filament so I'm going to break the review up into into a couple sections here so first of all uh, we'll go over how it smells when it's printing uh, we're going to go over the results of the prints how they look how does it print uh, and then we're going to go into the testing so you know how long did the scent last or do you smell anything at all and then my thoughts on the Kickstarter so here we go with the printing and one thing I'll mention and a little <laughs> clip here is that while printing, um, you could definitely smell the scent of things, well, of, of something something scent that was going on. Uh, the strongest one was the strawberry while being printed. Uh, there was a little bit of hint on the orange one and the green apple and uh, mango, not so much. I mean, you got a hint of it, but uh, in my shop, I have a fair amount of air filtration anyway, so any scents that were running uh, didn't stay long. Okay, it's voiceover Paul, and I just want to point out that the temperatures, the uh, filament temperature for all the printers was 200 degrees Celsius, and we use a bed temperature of 60 degrees Celsius, and uh, didn't have any issues. Uh, by the way, since we're looking at the Arion ER20, if you have one of those, the included profile with the newer versions of Cura works quite well, so uh, give that a try. But all the printers uh, printed the Benjis quite nicely. So we stuck to something simple. I just did benchies. I didn't want to get too complicated with different models and types. I've seen a lot of people do flowers and things like that. I just wanted to go with something easy. We did a bunch of benchies and as you can see, I got a pile of them here. And what I did is I brought these to work. I brought these to my friends. Uh, my girlfriend and her children smelled these. And here's kind of the rundown of how it went as far as smell. Now in the shop, the smell, as I mentioned, you know, once the printers had stopped and the air filtration had kind of emptied the room out a couple times, uh, no lingering sense in the shop. Uh, as far as after it was printed and taking a few sniffs, uh, overwhelmingly, the strawberry is the one that uh, even now I still have a little bit of it. I've waited a week, okay, just so you're aware. I have waited a week before doing this video <laughs> to when I finish these guys printing. So the strongest scented one among all of them is by far the strawberry. The most disappointing one of the bunch is green apple. No one that, that had this in front of their nose you know, sometimes I would tell them what it was. Sometimes I wouldn't just to see maybe if they don't expect it. No, 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 no one got green apple. Uh, mango, there was a hint of with two people out of about 12 people. And orange, yeah, see nothing. Uh, one or two people had that. So this is, this kind of filament is interesting. To me, it's kind of niche. It's kind of like the glow in the dark filaments, you know? Uh, those are the kind of things that people may print for a particular project, but it probably winds up back in the spool and just sitting on a shelf. Uh, a couple years ago, someone came out with, I think it was 3D Fuel, had a coffee uh, scented filament, and uh, you know, that was kind of a big hit for a while. 
But overall, from all the people that I had, check these out, out of the four fruit scents that I had, strawberry by far is the only real winner as far as um, having a strong scent and keeping it. Uh, the rest, uh, like I said, green apple dead last, and the other two were eh, big maybes. So let's review. So they printed easy. They definitely made some smells while they were being printed. Uh, actually, when they were first being purged as well too, when I was loading them into the machines, I'd get a little hint of scent. Uh, printed well. Uh, overall, the scent doesn't stay very long. So that right there, I guess, as we look at the Kickstarter, uh, if this is something you're considering supporting, I mean, just, I don't have the flower scents, which is the other part of this Kickstarter they're promoting heavily. So, you know, the I went through the Kickstarter, I went through the descriptions here they list, and I'm gonna go through them here with you as well. Uh, they got a whole bunch of reviews listed up top. They're about halfway through their goal of this Kickstarter. And, uh, you know, a couple of the reasons they mentioned is, you know, as you read through this, you know, they mention, you know, it give you a very interesting, impressive, and happy 3D printing experience. More importantly, you give perfect gift ideas for ladies and kids. Now, I understand they're a Chinese company and their English isn't gonna be exactly Shakespearean, but there's enough people in their Facebook group, there's enough of us Americans here that if you wanted us to proofread and make this sound a little bit better to uh, non-English speakers, we certainly could have helped. But I mean, we see this with other you know Chinese companies when they're working on their documentation or promotions for their, for their items. So I won't nitpick them too hard for that. Uh, but there's a, a couple things as you go through and they talk about you know uh, promoting this and why you'd want to support this and why it's a great product. And they're saying things like perfect 3D printed gift for the ladies and I just okay sure baby um, interesting 3d printed gift for kids all right uh, express your fatherly love or motherly love to your children print scented filament with your kids give them scented filament prints give them a happy childhood I <laughs> so that's all it takes is printed is scented filament to give them a happy childhood <laughs> Hey, I'm only a cat, so I have no idea. But anyway, um, now they mention here, and also, and I'm gonna share these screenshots with you as well as I scroll through. Uh, they talk about last or two months scent retention uh, time curve. Now, I don't know how they come up with this data. Uh, I don't know if they're just going by their noses or if they've actually gone to the laboratory and, you know, tested the off-gassing or whatever this thing does. But to my nose and to other people's nose, outside of strawberry, the others are kind of, mm, no, not gonna work. Uh, I'd be interested if the uh, flowers were stronger or better, but you know, at least the batch I have, the, the fruit is not hanging in there nearly as long. Uh, now, some of the stuff as you read through is, is Comet Gold. And, and again, Ariane, I'm sorry, please don't take offense, but um, you, this is what you publish, so this is what we have. Uh, so they go on to describe to turn your workshop into a heavenly place because as you print this, your shop will smell. Um, there are other ways you can make your shop smell. Um, in America, we call it Febreze. So, you know, probably a little cheaper too. Mmm, lavender. So, um, they do mention that it's easy to use, just like standard PLA. Yes, that's correct. Uh, they list all kinds of uh, additional um, reasons why this is good. They give like 13 um, more reasons, you know, why you should buy this. The fragrant workshop, which seems to be a recurring theme here. Uh, you can print fragrant coins and put them in wardrobe. Uh, schools can teach children to print fruit scent print. I, I just, again, as you read through this, <laughs> if you do read through this, um, it, it gets a little cringy to me. Uh, and then they go on to how to back the project and lasting fragrance is easy to use. Now they mention MSDS and ROH certification. Uh, they list them here, but when you click, you can't the, 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 you can't download them, so you really can't see what the material data sheet says. Um, they indicate vacuum package. Well, okay, mine was in a bag; it wasn't vacuum sealed, but okay, we'll go with that. Uh, then they give a couple more informations about the specs, the uh, recommended parameters for printers, which is kind of cool. I mean, they list a bunch of printers here, what basic settings to use. Um, they list their rewards here on the bottom. 
And then again, a little bit more cringy here. They talk about meeting the team and everyone gives their quote as to why this filament is so awesome. Um, the success of Arion Ascended Filament has once again proved our ability of product innovation, a big step forward for Arion, uh, quoted by Peter. And, and then this goes on for other individual people. And honestly, the way you read these things, you would have think they've sorted out how to turn gold from water. I just, it's, Oh, okay, sure, whatever. I mean, I understand they're trying to spin and promote and sell, um, which leads me to my next question is that why Kickstarter? Why go to Kickstarter to make scented filament? Um, they already make printers. They make other filaments. They make PLA. They make PLA plus. Uh, they make PETG. They, I mean, I have all kinds of filament that I've received from Arion. So I don't understand uh, why the need to financially back uh, printing scented filament, which based on my experience, uh, only 25% of it uh, seems to really retain any smell. Okay, so I, I, like I said, I'm known for being blunt and direct and I try to be nice, <laughs> but I, I call it as I see it or smell it. And in this case, I mean, if you wish to support this, then hey, that that's on you. And Arion is a known company, so I'm certain if you do support it, you're gonna get your filament. Uh, what I'm noticing from what is sitting on my desk and my experience in the last two weeks, printing these guys out, uh, yeah, I got some scent, but not a whole lot. So uh, buyer beware, you know, if you're looking for something that is going to, you know, smell for weeks and weeks and yeah, I'm still, I'm still hoping to get something off this, but no, nothing off green apple. But that's, that's my take on this. It's interesting. I, I was intrigued when they mentioned it in the Facebook group. I was uh, happy when they sent me some filament to try out and uh, I was hopeful, but again, it seems in my case, uh, and the noses of my, of me and my peers and friends and family, uh, really, it's, it's kind of a miss for us. Okay, so that's all for this time. I would really like to know from you guys what you think. Is scented filament something that you would buy? Is that something you have an interest in? Or is it kind of a niche thing, as I mentioned earlier, like with the glow-in-the-dark filaments or some of the others that we've seen come and go in the 3D printing world? So let me know. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. I will also leave the links for the Kickstarter if you're interested in checking out their page, reading all the details. And if you wish to back it, well, you can do so as well. And that's it. If you wish to see what I'm up to, check me out on social media. I am on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, and of course the website where nerdyiscool.com. I thank you guys for watching, and remember, this is where nerdy is cool. Even TPU, I'm not, I don't, I don't do a lot of flexible filaments myself over here, but I'd be really interested. Let's try that one more time. Is this is something? Can't talk. Five, four, if this filament stinks. Sorry, see what I did there? Couldn't resist. Test it out and I'm gonna let you know if it stinks or not. See, nose, smell, stink. I thought it was funny in my head. All right, let's do this.